I've been talking about this for a good while now, but it's finally time for that big supports only video I've been talking about. Now, I don't think it's necessarily going to be big in terms of length of the video, but it's more big in the amount of progress. Because today we are going to be uh, quote unquote building every support character that we have on the account, which is from Xin Yen all the way. That's all our support characters, except for I think Ning Guang's up here somewhere. She shouldn't be. But when I say building, I don't mean like fully artifacts, weapon, everything, because that's going to be way too much of a pain. But what I am going to be doing is getting all of them up to level 80 with hopefully six talents, but I will take as many as much as we can get all their relevant talents. So like obviously Kirara, we probably would mainly prioritize her skill and then maybe her burst, but we wouldn't really touch her normal attack. So that's basically the plan is to get everyone up to, I think Shin Yen to Kirara all need to get up to level 80. And the Traveler is Ascender, but just needs to get leveled up. And then we're going to try to get everyone's talents up to pretty reasonable. So yeah, it's a, it's a big video. And I've been prepping for this video for a good while. As you can see, we have 1,888 Heroes Wits and 3,409 Heroes uh, Adventurers Experience. As well as 13 million Mora. We have everyone that we needs boss drops. We have all of them up to... And I think we have all of them to level 90, but we're obviously not going to be going to level 90. Uh, we do have quite a few weeklies, but that's why I'm sort of limiting it to six because weekly bosses would be impossible if we want to go any further than that. And then we have tons of these books. We don't have a whole lot, but we should have enough to get like some decent levels, hopefully. If not, I will have to probably do a bit of farming. And then these are going to be our main problem. So without further ado, let's get into this. We're going to start off with just leveling them up because that's going to be the best plan of action. I'll just work through each character, I guess. I already am missing stuff. Good. I was originally planning on going all the way to level 90, but that was going to take way too many resources. I think I jotted it down to get all of the characters that we have up to level 90. It would take 25,133,200 Mora and 5,884 Heroes Wits which is quite a lot and I've taken me months just to get this many so yeah we're going to go for level 80 but there is the first character Kirara is level 80 that is the first of many now while we're at it Traveler can also go to level 80 because I just need to level her up I will probably just get all the leveling done and then we'll deal with talents later because that'll be the easiest way to go about things we need more Hydro Chunks. Now, that's something that I know that more characters have because we have Candace over here. I think she's the only other one that isn't already a little bit leveled up. Yeah. Well then, let's just get Candace a little bit leveled up. She is one of the recent additions to my support list. Actually, now that I mentioned this before we continue, I do need to... Last supports only video, which was the last one, I think it was, which was when I went over all of the characters and, the what, and why their supports... Uh, we've had two changes since then, I mentioned it in the comments, uh, but Candace and Chevrus are both being added because we had a bunch of people brought up some good points. Candace is basically very, very similar to Chong Yoon, and I consider Chong Yoon as supports, but counting uh, Candace, and then Chevrus does healing and she does stuff as well, so we're also counting Chevrus. We need more of them. I will get back to Candace then, I guess, because that's going to be a pain. And I know that video was a little bit confusing of why I counted some characters as supports, but it was basically my initial thoughts plus some of the things from comments is sort of what I based my decisions off of. Now we can get Mona up. There's 70. There is the second character ascended, or third, I guess, if you count the Traveler, up to 80. Boom. Moving on, we're going to go to do... I'm going to do Yunjin next. There's 50. I think Yunjin I was pretty prepared for, so she should be able to go up to 80 very, very easily. Yeah, that's looking like it's going to be pretty good. We are up to 70 now, so as long as we have everything here, we do. Boom. Straight up to 80. Easy peasy. Okay, now we're going to do Xin Yen because I want to build Xin Yen because she's, you know, not a great character. I want to build her and make her actually a pretty decent character. So we will see how far we can go with her. Looks like we should be able to go pretty decently far. And yep, straight up to 80 as well. Boom. 
Love to see it. Next on the list. This is going way quicker than I thought. This is great. We're going to do... I think next on the list is going to be Charlotte. She might be a small problem just for the stuff that we need, but... Oh well, I might be missing a couple of her drops. We shall see. Yeah, I'm going to need more of her local specialties, I think. Up to 70 and I should be out of local specialties now. Yeah, we need a couple more. So she's almost up to that 80. I guess we'll just work through the list now. We've got Dory. She's another one I want to build because she's another character that no one really likes. And I like to turn characters that no one really likes into actually a really good DPS or good character. So I do expect some DPS Dory and Shen Yen videos soon-ish because now they are leveled up. I will be able to mess around with them a bit more. So there is Dory all the way up to 80. Next, we're going to go to Diona because she is going to be useful. Also, would be another fun character to make DPS. I think I did dabble around with DPS Diona at some point. But now that she's leveled up, we can actually do some more damage with her. We are missing five of them. Okay. Any other cryo characters in our little list of characters here? We have Mika. He's missing those as well. Okay. So there is Diona now up to 80. Next, let's deal with Mika. He only needs two more levels, so we should be fine here. Okay, not quite. We're missing just three wolf hooks. Okay. I'm just going to get everyone leveled up, and then we'll get into actually farming for anything we're missing later. So we have Barbara, another character I want to make a DPS, because she actually can be a pretty good DPS. We are missing... Ooh, we're missing ocean drops. I didn't think we were going to be missing them. That's fun. Okay, we'll get back to that. Noelle. I'm going to say it again. Also would be fun to make a DPS. Missing those. That won't be a problem. And those. Okay. Let's have a look at Rosaria then. Boom. 70 and 80. Easy. Next on the list. Candace needs some more stuff. Goro. I don't expect Goro is going to be a super useful character for this account. Unless you build DPS Noel. But obviously he is a support. So we are building him. And we're missing those Geo Chunks again. Lastly, we have Sayu. And, ooh, goodness, we need more of these. Okay. And boom. Now we should be able to get Sayu up. Yep. Awesome. 80. And we are now officially out of Hero's Wits. We are just down to the Adventures, Adventurers Experience. There is Noel now up to 80. Boom. There is Goro up to 80. That just leaves Charlotte, Mika, Barbara, and Candace. Charlotte needs just a couple more barrel conches. Mika needs just, I think, like, yeah, four more of the wolf hooks. Easy. Barbara needs some more of the ocean drops, which is going to be a pain because I haven't got any resin. And Candace needs quite a bit more hydro chunks and hana berries, which also might be a problem. Let's see what we can do. This video has taken the cake for the one biggest video we've done on this account. Or on any challenge account, to be fair. I haven't leveled up, like, every character that I have in one big go on any account. And also it takes the cake for the longest video to prepare, because this took months to get ready. And while, yes, it might not be necessarily as entertaining as, like, a Abyss video or story video or pulling video or something... It's a very big progress and those videos are nice because it actually makes the account usable and makes more characters on the account usable, which is what we like to see. Now we can mess around and do more stupid builds because now we have the characters leveled up for it, which means you can focus on artifacts. There's Mika level 80 because that was one of the reasons why I wasn't doing a whole load of stupid builds recently is because we haven't been able to because... It takes quite a long time to get the characters ready to go. So it was a bit of a pain to get all the levels for the characters. So I had to be doing a whole load of build videos. But now that everyone is leveled up to level 80, which is pretty, pretty good for, you know, just messing around doing some builds. If I really want to get a character, I can put them to level 90, which is honestly might, it might be what I do if I want to build a character and not just like a silly build, like actually build a character to use in a team properly, that's when I'll get him up to level 90. Because I only need to work, worry about one level then. 
which is a lot easier to deal with than like five. But now we can do more silly builds and I can farm more artifacts so I can do more stupid stuff and build DPS, Mona and Xinyan and Dory and all them, as well as actually building, you know, useful characters as well, like Yunjin or Goro, Noel, and just like that. Now we can get Charlotte all the way up to 80. Boom. We are quickly running out of Mora. And we can also get Barbara up to 80 as well. Which now just leaves Candace. And I need a lot of these. So let's go see what I can manage to come up with. Do we have enough more? We do just have enough. Oh, we might not have enough more to get Candace up. That might be a problem. Okay. Well, we definitely won't be doing talents then today because we don't have enough more for that. I'll probably do a part two of this video and I'll get everyone's talents up to six. And that'll probably come out in, I'd say, about a, a month or so. Because it takes a long time, especially to get Mora. So we'll see. But yeah, around a month or so, I'd imagine, is how long it's going to take us to get that much talent XP. So then we can actually get everyone's talents up to six or their relevant talents up to six. Oh yes, and also next update, we're getting that free five star. And uh, you best believe I'm 100% getting Jean. Because she, I think, is the one standard character we don't have. As for the new characters coming out next update, Mulani, Kachina, and Kinich. I don't, none of them, I obviously haven't really looked into their kit too much. But I don't think any of them are supports. I mean, just looking at what they do. Yeah, none of them are supports. Uh, we get Raiden and Kazu next update. So, 100% going for Kazu and I'll try for Raiden. But with the pools we are getting, I assume we should be able to do that. At least we should be able to get Kazuha. We are sitting at, yeah, zero pity, which isn't great. But we have 8,000 primos. So that gives us 53 pools plus the 20 free pools and all the other free stuff we're getting from next update. So we should be sweet. We should be able to get Kazuha as long as we get a little bit lucky and win the 50-50. And boom, there we go. That took way too long and there was only just enough of them, but I need more hydro chunks. We have 97 Hana Berries, which means that we can get Candace up if we have enough Mora, which I doubt we're going to have, which is going to be a little bit of a problem. Well, let's just see how far we can go. There is 60. That's as far as we can go. Okay, that's a little bit of a problem. Okay, well, I think think what our best plan of action is. I'm going to wait till tomorrow. I will farm the ley lines tomorrow and hope that we can get enough to get her up to whatever it is, 80. We need to level her up to 60 and then we need 70 and 80. One of the pros of doing this is we get loads of standard wishes. I'm expecting to have like, I'd say almost 20 odd, probably. By the time we finish this, 22. That's a lot. Let's see if we get anything. Four star. Candace Constellation. That's actually really fitting. I'll take it. It's actually, that's actually really good. It increases the duration of her infusion. Now, with these last 12, I could do eight pulls and stand on the beginner wish banner and just get rid of this. You know what? It could actually give us something good. Let's do it on the beginner wish banner. Because then it gets rid of the wish thing. I is a bit, and also we could probably get a Shangling C2 or a Shangling Constellation, which I'll take. We get a Bennett Constellation. That's actually, is that C6? I'm not sure, but that is a Constellation for Bennett. Now we have four of these, so we'll just spend them here. Now what Constellation Bennett is that? Is that C6? No. Okay, it must be my main account that I'm at C5 then. It just increases his... Burst? No, skill. Okay, not super useful. Okay, well that is basically... Uh, not basically, that is every one of the support characters except for Candice. All up to 80. We haven't actually got Chong Yoon. Chong Yoon's... We can't do Chong Yoon. He's sitting at 83, so he might actually get... Actually, these guys are all to getting to level 90, and that's going to be a problem. Which I'll deal with that later. But that is all of the support characters. Every single one of them. We now have up to 80. Except for Candace. Who we are just lacking Mora for. So 
I will go farm Candace's stuff tomorrow and more and everything. And then we'll get Candace leveled up. And then we will have all of the support characters we currently have all leveled 80 or 90. Which is really good. And then I'll do a part 2 probably a little bit later when we get some more Mora. Because right now I am exactly like this idle animation and I am broke. That was really convenient timing. And then I will go and do all of their talents to get all the talents up to six. Well, the relevant talents. I won't bother with ones we don't need. So I will see you all tomorrow and we'll get everyone, completely everyone, all up to 80, which is crazy. That's biggest progress we have had on this account. And also, I think biggest progress on like any account. So yeah, I will see you all tomorrow. Okay, it is day two. We have got condensed resin and it is time to go farm ley lines. And boom, there is all of that resin, our five runs. I'm hoping that that is enough to get Candace up, but we shall see. So, Candace, we can get up to 60. We're missing hydro chunks. There is 70. Okay, we are missing a couple of them. I don't think we're going to be able to get that last level. I think we feel like we're just missing enough for that last level. I could be wrong and I really hope I am, but I feel like we are just a little bit short. We can get her ascended to 80. Are we going to be able to? No, we are like probably one run off. So let me fix that really quickly by using one of them. Boom. Let's go do two more runs, and this should be enough then. I don't think I have ever seen these two, both the book and Mora ley line, so close to each other. They're always like on the opposite sides of the region. Two more runs down. Is this going to be enough? Yes, it is. Boom. There we go. Every single support character is that we have on the account is now at least level 80. Everyone from Candace all the way up here to Cookie. All of them, all level 80. Which means part one of this video is done. Let's see, did we get a five star from doing that much work? No. As I said, we will be doing a part two. Uh, probably in a good couple months and I'll get everyone's talents or relevant talents up to level 6. But for now, part 1 of getting everyone up to 80 is done. That was quite a painful process, especially the farming side of things. But we are done and that's very, very good because now we can do some fun builds with characters. I'm, I've already been using a couple characters now just because we can. Like I've used Shin Yen just to apply pyro to things because she's actually built a little bit more now. I'm using Kirara and Sayu because I can to explore better. Mona as well is pretty good for exploring. I can just use more characters now, which is great. I think my next uh, silly build is going to be DPS Mona because I have been farming some of these. Nymph's Dream, I think I do have a couple here. So Mona is probably going to be our next silly DPS build. I'll see that might be Shin Yen or Dory because I want to build them DPS and I want them to do crazy big damage so then I can just go join co-op worlds with a Shin Yen that does like 30k because that would be funny. So with that being said, I think I'm going to leave it off here. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you like sort of content, do consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and good. Bye. Bye.